Pastor Mike here. I'm so excited because tomorrow is Easter and I get to see everybody. But before, I got to get everything ready. So, here I go. Clipboards for the preschool department. Cones for the parking lot. Tablets for the musicians. Candy for the kids. Pastor Joe's microphone. And especially this year, disinfectant wipes. All right. Oh, no, have I done everything? Okay. Oh, no. Resurrection eggs. I almost forgot the resurrection eggs. Where did I put those? In all my running around, where did I put those? Um, maybe they're in the office. They weren't in that office. Maybe they're in my office. They aren't in my office. Maybe they're downstairs. They weren't downstairs. Terry, ah. I, I don't know where the resurrection eggs are. I put them somewhere. I'm so tired, I've been running all around the church and I can't remember where I put them. The resurrection eggs? The resurrection eggs. That's what you're gonna be using for your story time. Yeah, for my story. They're colored eggs. Yeah, like Easter eggs. They're all different colors. Pinks, greens, yellows. Are there 12 of them? Yeah, I can't remember where I put them. Are they in a purple container? Yes, have you seen them? I have. Where, where did I leave them? Right there. Oh. No wonder I couldn't find them. They were right in front of my eyes. But you know, with my glasses, I can't see anything, so. You know, if it would have been a snake. It would have bit me. All right. So kids, resurrection eggs. Let's start with one. Can we join you? You can join me. Here's the first one, open blue. It's a donkey. Now, what's significant about the donkey? Tell us. Jesus rode a donkey on Palm Sunday into Jerusalem while the crowds were yelling Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The second one, ooh, money, coins. What is that all about? How much? I don't know, those are three pieces of silver. Ah. But I think somebody was paid three pieces of silver. And I think that was one of Jesus' disciples, Judas. The chief priest gave him, paid him to betray Jesus. Third one, ready? It's a goblet. What did that have? Remember in a special event, Jesus and his disciples celebrated Passover together. And Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. And so that was a very significant event. Then we have the orange egg. What's that? What is that? Praying hands. Praying hands. Remember, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane with Peter, James, and John, and he told them, stay awake and pray with me. And what did they do? They fell asleep. But Jesus prayed, and in the garden, he prayed for all of us. He prayed for all of us. Oh, but then what happened after the garden? During, while he was praying, Judas came, and the chief priest came, and they arrested him, and they took him to, to stand a trial. And during that trial, what did they do to him? They whipped him with a heavy chain that really hurt his back. And so that's what they did next. Then the light yellow egg, they 
they started while well, they started mocking him the guards put this crown of thorns on his head and they put a red, a purple uh, garment on his back and they mocked him they laughed at him and they made fun of him some of them even spit on him they did that and then they arrested they took him off after the, he stood trial they took him down the via dolorosa which is called the way of suffering and jesus carried his cross on his back down the streets as people watched and when they got to the end they took nails and they nailed his feet and his hands to the cross before they put it upright and so they used those spikes then they used this green and they the guards at the foot of the cross they rolled a the dice what were they rolling dice for what were they trying to get? They weren't playing a game. They weren't playing a game. You know? His clothes. His clothing. They were, they were gambling for his clothing. And then the purple one. At one point, while Jesus was on the cross, one of the guards took a spear and stabbed Jesus in his side. And out of his side came blood and water. And that was um, just a, what the guard did, okay? Then we have this light tan. And that was also to signify that Jesus had died. He was testing to make sure Jesus had died. And after Jesus died, uh, Joseph of Arimathea came and asked to take his body. And so Joseph took his body, Jesus's body, and prepared it for burial. And so he, he took some cloth and he wrapped Jesus's body in, a, in, a, in that cloth. And then they took him to the tomb. And after they placed him in the tomb, they rolled a big stone in front of the tomb and sealed it off. And Pilate even put guards at the tomb because he was afraid that the disciples would come and steal Jesus's body. And then the last day. There's nothing in it. It's empty. There's nothing in it. And that is because three days later, the tomb was empty. empty because Jesus rose from the dead. And that's what we are celebrating today. And so these resurrection eggs tells the whole Easter story. Now you may not have eggs, but you know you can tell the Easter story to somebody, maybe one of your friends, maybe a family member, maybe since you can't gather today, maybe you'll FaceTime somebody or your messenger somebody or you'll You'll uh, call somebody on the phone, but you can tell people the story of Jesus and the fact that he is alive today. And that is what today is about. And so I want you to tell people, spread the good news with everybody that Jesus is alive. Can we say that together on the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. That's why we're celebrating Easter. So we're ready for it. I hope you are. Now, I really can't see you, and I'm really disappointed that I can't see you. So this is what I'm going to ask your parents to do, because I want to see your smiling Easter faces. I want your parents to take a picture of you, and I want you to send it to my phone. Ready? Here it is. 360-520. 4694 because I want to see your smiling Easter faces. Happy Easter to all of you. We are thankful for you and we love you and we miss you. Bye.